Zestful here with a brand new YouTube video. Today I am going to be showing you how to make a Roblox render in Blender 2020. So the reason I say 2020 is because there's a new version of Blender so that makes all the other tutorials outdated since it doesn't let you move the limbs of the Roblox character or anything. So it's basically a broken blender for all Roblox GFX artists. So I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can get past that by doing it in Roblox Studio with it still looking absolutely amazing. So what you want to do, you just want to open up Roblox Studio that we have open already and just open up a normal base plate. Then you're going to want to open up your toolbox and go into plugins. So once you're in plugins, you should see something called load character. If you don't see it, you can just search it up in the search bar. So you're going to go to the light one. So now you just want to install it. Once it's installed, you just want to go ahead and close the toolbox, open up plugins, and press load character. Now you should just see a UI on your screen that you can drag around. So here you can type in any Roblox user you want. I just picked a random one, so let's just paste that in. And then you want to make sure you press spawn at origin because that's where you want it to spawn in Blender. So then you want to do R15 since we want to move the joints in Roblox Studio instead of Blender. So now you want to just close that up and you can see you have our character. So now what you want to do is just take away the base plate just like that. And now you can see we just have our plain character and just an open sky. So now we want to start moving the limbs. To move the limbs, you want to hold Alt and Control, and you want to start pressing all of the parts of the leg. There should be three parts, which is the left upper leg, which is this part, the left lower leg, which is this part, and the left foot, which is that. This goes the same for arms and the other legs and stuff. But the torso has two parts, the bottom part of the torso and the top, and the head's just, you know, a head with the accessories, of course. So now we just want to start moving the limbs. So what we're going to do, we're going to start by selecting all three and go to rotate. My settings are on a, on 11.25 for rotate and on move 0.1. That's what I recommend because it's personally the easiest for me. I don't know about you. So as you can see, we have a nice slant on our leg. Let's move that in a bit so it looks more natural. And now let's slant it a bit more by taking the bottom two and rotating it again, just like that. So it just looks like a knee sticking out. Maybe we can even rotate that like that a little. I don't know how that'll look. You just w might want to experiment and stuff. No, that doesn't look so good. <laughs> so you might be able to tell, but that looks fine. Let's just rotate that just like this back and okay and we got it so the reason we do like three parts and two parts and one part is because if we just wanted to move the the top part like if we would just wanted it to slap back and we just selected the top it would look like that yeah not so nice so now let's just do a little more working on the legs so maybe to make that look a bit more natural, we can like curve that out or something. I think that looks okay. Maybe we can get him slanted like, like that way. So next let's make his arm into like a wave or something. So let's just select all of them, all three, do a rotate on it, just like that. Then we move it up like that, I believe should be good. Just a little bit more in, just like that. And now we want to make it so it curves, so we select the two bottom ones, we rotate, we got it, there we go. Now let's just adjust that a little, oh that doesn't look so good. So let's rotate that like that one more, and now we can do the top two. Okay, there we go. I guess I'm fine with that for now. By the way, this is just like a demo. Um, you can make way better ones than this if you actually put in the time. So let's just... Mm, I don't know what I want to do with this arm. Maybe I'll experiment for a bit. 
Uh, I'll see you guys once I'm done. Okay, I guess that's fine because it's just a demo and it'll be maybe like that when we render it. So now let's give the head a slight slant that way. So we want to select the head right there. So we can't just move the head or else accessories don't come with it. So you just want to select all the accessories that are added onto the head. We don't want to we don't want to um, choose that one because then it would just turn on the back, make it look really ugly. So we just so we just want to press all the ones that's on his head. So now let's just turn like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, I don't really like I don't really like that arm there, but it's okay for now. So I'm content with this. So now what you want to do, you just want to go into the explorer you want to right click it and then you press export selection then you just want to put it in a file you remember and name it okay so once you did that you're just going to want to load up blender link to download will be in the description and then once you get in it should look just like this you hold your middle mouse to look around and then you can use it to scroll in and out. So just click on the block and delete it by pressing delete. And then you just want to go into file and then you go to import and then you want to do wavefront. So when you're importing it, let me show you right now. When you're importing it, go to where you saved it. So I'm going to go into Roblox. And then I just named it high and you want to press the OBJ version, not the MTL because the MTL is a texture. So just load that up and you'll see we have our person here. So that looks pretty good except for that because that's like really, <laughs> I don't know. So now let me just show you what a render as is would look like. So you do render image. So the reason it's only at their feet is because we didn't move the camera around so right here this is the camera so I'm just gonna show you how to move that around right now okay so how you want to move it around you just want to position it at the angle you want it to render at so I'll just do like like I think there should be fine and then I'm gonna want to press control alt and then zero on the number pad not just the regular zero so let's do that so there we go now we're in the camera so this is what it's gonna look like when we're actually rendering it so obviously we want the head in so we're just gonna try repositioning it also if you don't like doing it like this then I suggest you just because this isn't my personal favorite thing so what you want to do you just want to press the move in blender and you just want to move it around just like that and then it's like trial and error you just render it and like see how you like it because we're getting pretty close right now so I'll tell you guys when I'm done. Okay guys, so I kind of like that, that's good. So now what we wanna do, we're just gonna wanna go back into Blender and now we wanna position the light so like the light on this side would look like this and then like the light on the other side would look something like that so you're just gonna want to position it how you want the lighting to look so right now I'm probably just gonna do from the side like that alright so I moved the camera around a bit more and the lighting so our final result looks like this so now once you're happy with the the render you got you can just close that up and then go into um, into this little like camera icon and go into film and then you just want to hit transparent this will make it so there's no background around the image so it'll just look like this okay so now 
now we want to export it so you're going to want to go to the image and then you want to do save as and then just save it somewhere that you remember it okay guys so i'm in paint.net so now we need to add our photo and add a background and effects to it so what you want to do you want to go into layers and then go into import from file and then just go to the file while you saved it and import it in okay now that we have our person we want to add a background so go into layers and then press add new layer and now drag it to the bottom of that make sure this layer is selected so now we need to find a background so i went ahead on google and looked for a few backgrounds so i have one that i quite like so now i'm just going to copy that and go back into here make sure I'm on the bottom layer and paste it in let's keep the canvas size just like that there we go that looks good okay so now if we go back and select the layer this layer with the person on it we can go ahead and drag him to the side a bit more just like that Okay, I guess that's fine for now. Let's make him a little smaller. There we go. That's okay. Maybe we can even make him facing the other way. If you want to make him face the other way, just click him, go into layers, and then flip horizontal, and here be flipped. Let's go back and add some effects. So I was on Google, and I found some, like, sandy effects and a flare effect. So we're going to add the sand by copying it and going back to paint and then adding a new layer and then pasting it and now let's just drag it to size but that doesn't look so good because it's completely blocking our render so what we want to do we want to go into layers and then layer properties and just turn down the opacity like that or so so it gives it this kind of like dusty looking effect let's try putting it on 25 for now we can even rotate that because that side has less like that that looks pretty good okay so now we're gonna add the flare effect let's go back and copy the flare and go back into paint on it be sure to add a new layer paste it and then mm, maybe let's rotate it to the other side so we go to layers flip horizontal and now let's just extend it a bit just okay that's good so maybe we want to turn the opacity down a little so just like we did before go into layer properties and just turn it down just a little let's do it like 150 maybe that's good so press ok and i think we're done maybe we just want to move the background in a little more so select the background layer and just move it in like that And now let's go ahead and crop that to selection so go into image and do crop to selection and then there we go we have rgfx and that's basically all for it we can go ahead and add a new layer so just press add new layer add it on the top of everything or the bottom you know, whatever suits it better and we can go ahead and add some text choose the text you like I'm just going to go with something simple just to show this off. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to use, let's do, let's just do that. That's okay for now. Obviously, you'd find a better font. This is just like to show. And then you'd put like, you'd put the name of whatever you want here. Let's just do how to make a GFX. And you can like, you can get the color of the guy like that. And then you can do it just like that. So, yeah, that's basically all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helped because all the other tutorials are invalid. Be sure to share this so people know how to make good GFX. And thank you so, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.